welcome back to the crypto world channel everyone my name is josh and right now the price of ethereum is still holding above this area of support as we have just seen the s p 500 index start off the day in the green and we have new evidence that the ethereum whales are accumulating ethereum right now in the hundreds of millions of dollars all of that and more in this video and just before we jump into it feel free to leave a like down below and if you're new to the channel you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day but with all of that out of the way let's get straight into what this video is about so right here we're on the ethereum to your solar chart on the daily time frame and at the time of recording right now the price of ethereum is still trading in between this area of resistance and this area of support so first of all the area of support is coming in at around 2.3 to 2.4k and the area of resistance is coming into play in between 2650 and around 2.9k so those are still the importance levels that i am paying attention to in the shorter term for ethereum as i said yesterday on the channel if we experience a strong break below this area of support with confirmation so for example some daily candle close and more volume coming into play then in that case we could see a drop down towards the june and july lows coming in at around 1700 to 1800 us dollars per ethereum but if we break above this area of resistance that i just mentioned then in that case and especially if we can regain control over 2.9k then we could enter a recovery back to the upside so right now we're basically just waiting to see if the support or the resistance will break first but to keep in mind that there's a very good chance that the price of ethereum follows along with what bitcoin is doing and also with what the us stock market is doing but anyway getting over to this chart right here this is the three day time frame for ethereum versus the us dollar and of course we've got this line of support coming in at just above 2.3k and so far at the time of recording we are holding above that level which is good to see in the shorter term but something else that i also mentioned in yesterday's ethereum update video if you're zooming out further on this chart and looking at the last bull market around four years ago leading into the next bear market we actually saw this type of pattern where we saw ascending lows and then what we saw was one final lower high before we entered a bear market and as of right now ethereum has not seen that final lower high so if this were to continue to play out like what we saw back here then really we need to see the price of ethereum enter a significant bounce back to the upside but then we need to top out lower than the all-time high and come back down and if that happens then obviously that would be a very bearish signal but as of right now we are still yet to confirm a lower high in the price of ethereum on the larger time frames and while we're here on the three-day time frame for ethereum i'll just quickly remind you that the ethereum rsi on the three-day chart entered into oversold territories for the first time since the end of 2019 so we haven't seen this in over two years so what that actually means is that right now we are in a rare opportunity that we don't see too often but i want to make it clear that we have not confirmed a recovery back to the upside one of the first signals that i would personally be looking out for to potentially confirm a recovery is if we see the three-day rsi break above this descending line of resistance which is right now coming in at around 34 approximately while the rsi is coming in at around 30 approximately and you can see right here that the current downtrend in the three-day rsi for ethereum is certainly not unique to this time right here we have seen this play out time and time again over years worth of ethereum price history and almost every single time that the ethereum rsi on the three-day chart breaks above these descending lines of resistance during those times right there that is basically when the price of ethereum is about to enter a reversal back to the upside but once again i want to make it clear that right now we have not seen this at least just yet but we are potentially getting closer to it and just before we talk about what's happening in the stock markets and the news released from the federal reserve i'll just quickly talk about how the ethereum whales are buying the dip right now what this chart actually shows us is the ethereum addresses containing over 10,000 ethereum so obviously these are ethereum whales and out of this specific group of addresses so obviously out of all of these ethereum whales just in the last one week alone they have accumulated over 200,000 more eth worth nearly 500 million euros US dollars making this the largest ethereum accumulation in one week by the ethereum whales that we have seen in the past two months and if you have been watching all of my recent bitcoin update videos we have also been talking about this for bitcoin as well because we are seeing a lot of big whales accumulate much more bitcoin right now and by the way if you want to get information like this earlier than these videos and also if you want to get extra updates throughout the day on the crypto markets definitely make sure you're following me over on my twitter and the link to my twitter is in the description down below and also in the pinned comment and now taking a quick look at the stock market this right here is the s p 500 index on the daily time frame and obviously you can see here that over the past couple months we have been in more of a bearish time period in the stock market which is one of the main reasons why crypto has been bearish over the past couple months but in the shorter term as in over the past couple days we have been experiencing some short-term accumulation for example today
today's daily candle opened above where we closed yesterday. And even though yesterday's daily candle in the S&P 500 index turned out to be a red daily candle, we still opened above where we closed in the beginning of the day. And this short term bounce that we are seeing right now in the S&P 500 index over the past couple of days actually makes sense where it's happening. Because if you're looking at the corresponding daily RSI, we have been in oversold territories. So essentially, we're seeing a bit of relief in the markets at the moment. And especially now that we don't have that extra uncertainty of the Federal Reserve's meeting that everyone was paying attention to yesterday. And of course, I covered that in yesterday's daily updates. And in my recent Bitcoin update that I posted only a couple hours ago, in that video, I explained the Fed's meeting and its implications on both the stock market and the crypto market. So if you missed out on all of that valuable information around the Fed, then definitely make sure you check out my Bitcoin update video that I only posted a couple hours ago on this channel. And quickly looking at the NASDAQ 100 index on the two day time frame with the high Kanashi candlesticks, right now we are seeing a broad broadening formation form in the NASDAQ 100 index. And traditionally speaking in the stock market, this is known as a bearish pattern because it shows signs of indecision and disagreements between different investors. But that is not all because this right here is a giant fractal that we have seen play out before in the S&P 500 index on the larger timeframes a couple years ago. And I won't be going over this again because I did explain it in my Bitcoin video. So once again, if you missed my Bitcoin update video, definitely make sure you watch that one after you finish watching this video of course. And if you made it this far in the video, you might as well leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. This Ethereum video was just a quick one today, mostly updating the analysis that I provided in yesterday's Ethereum update video, because between yesterday and today, the prices haven't moved that much. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.